Today I'm going to show you some awesome things you can do with the mallet harp, including scales, chords, melodies, how to play with other people, and some other great techniques. What's up everybody? This is AJ from Digi Project, and I am excited to be here today with the mallet harp. This is the A minor pentatonic model, only available in the Digi Project store. We call it the AMP and it's a custom design scale specifically chosen for its ease of playing and its beautiful sound. Here at Digi Project, we got lots of other tips and tutorials on world music and other cool instruments. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. Now let's check out some of the cool things you can do with the mallet harp. Here is the basic scale of the mallet harp. are A, C, D, E, G, A, C, D, E, G, A. So it's an A minor pentatonic scale in two octaves. And being able to go up and down the scale is really just the most basic sound, and it's really useful. So just playing, if all you know is how to go up and down the scale, you can play it as much as you want, go up and down, turn around, go back and forth whenever you want, and it's going to sound great. One great thing to do is to play scale patterns. Here's an example of the first one, which will be 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3. I'm just using the numbers as the first note, second note, third note, etc. So here's what this one sounds like. So I'm literally just taking a unit, which is this, one, two, three, one. Then I move, I do the same exact pattern, but I start on the second note. I take the same exact pattern start on the third note, then start on the fourth note. And this is a cool way to give yourself more material. So let's try it going down. You could try just going down three, up one, down three, up one. These are all basic scale patterns. Another one is go up two notes, down one. This works particularly well with the minor pentatonic scale of which we are playing. A really cool feature of the mallet harp is the wah-wah sound effect. And you can only do this on the top notes because this chamber right here is open. So let me give you a little example of what this sounds like. So what I'm literally doing is I'm covering the hole and then I play the note, get it resonating and then open it. Or I could just play with it open and try covering it with my hand. Alright, next we're going to talk about playing chords. 
So chords are more than one note, so when you play more than one note at a time. And on this instrument, you can play A minor, C, D5, E minor, G5. If you get into the extensions, which is more advanced music theory, there's probably a lot more you can explore. But those are like the basic chords. So let's hear some of those. Here's A minor. When you play the individual notes of a chord in a sequence, this is called an arpeggio. So for A minor, it would be A, C, E, and then A again. So that there is an A minor arpeggio. If you can play just those notes, you have the A minor chord. Now here's a C major arpeggio, which is just C, E, and G. Notice how it has a much brighter sound than the A minor. A minor's kind of got that dark minor sound. C major is brighter. So it's important to really understand the distinction between minor and major. Now, just so you hear some other chords, here's the D. E minor. You just get two notes of E minor in this scale because there's no B. And then from there you go back to A minor. So if I wanted to play, say, a minor, C, E minor. This is what those chord changes would sound like. So that's a very, very basic version of how you might play chord changes on this instrument. So another really cool technique is playing parallel motion. So you're basically picking an interval and you're moving your sticks in the same interval every time. So for example, if I want to do octaves, so I'm starting on A and A, then go up to C and C, then D and D, and then E and E. It's like that. And I can throw rhythms in, but I'll just do it very basically. do something that's a little more musical. Another way to use parallel motion is not to use octaves, but to use a different interval. So say I want to just do every two notes apart. This actually, this pentatonic scale with the every other note pattern, this sounds very Asian because they use this pattern a lot in Asian music. Next, we're going to go to anti-parallel motion, which if you saw parallel moving the same way, of course, anti-parallel means moving the opposite way. One of my favorite things to do is a call and response pattern. And what I like to do is use the left hand calling and the right hand responding or vice versa. Right hand calling, left hand responding. Left hand taking more of the lower notes, right hand taking more of the upper notes.
can see how it's going back and forth. Play with the left hand for a little bit, then right hand for a little bit. And it's like you have two different voices playing with one another, but you're actually controlling both voices. And that's one of the cool things about the mallet harp. So the next thing when you start to get a little more complex with your playing is right and left hand alternating patterns. One of the most simple examples of this would be to do a pattern where you're just beating four beats with your right hand and the left hand is doing something a little different. If you have ever studied hand drumming or stick drumming or any drumming at all, you know that there's a lot of different rhythms that can go into this. Here's like another drum beat that I'll play a lot. That's actually a beat you can find in my three essential djembe exercises video. For more sophisticated patterns, for those of you who already have some drumming experience or want to get into more complex patterns, one of the coolest things to play on this instrument is polyrhythms. Polyrhythms are when you have two different voices playing two different rhythms. So for example, my right hand might be one voice and my left hand another playing different notes or different areas of the instrument. And say my right hand is playing three and my left hand is playing two. Well, this is what that sounds like. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. It just sounds like da 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 da. But when you start speeding it up and switching notes around, you just keep that same rhythm going and it gets really cool. polyrhythm is the four over three polyrhythm. So I'm going to play four in my right hand and three in the left hand. Now let's hear what it sounds like if I just start switching around to different notes. If learning polyrhythms is something you're interested in, please leave a comment below and let us know why you want to learn them. One of the coolest things that you can do just as a solo player is actually beatbox while playing. So I'm going to give a little demo of what that might sound like. to do is to play a drone in one hand and the melody in another. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this low A and I'm just going to keep it consistent with a, just a steady beat. And in the right hand, I'm going to play a melody 
all around the instrument. And you'll see how the drone gives it more context and makes it more dynamic. about this particular mallet percussion instrument, the mallet harp, is that you can just literally slide the mallet over the keys and you get this really cool texture. This is why we call it a mallet harp, because when you do this, it sounds like a harp. So one of the first awesome things about this instrument is you can walk while playing it. And if you do any sound healing, meditation, massage, healing work, this is a great instrument because you can literally walk around while people are laying down or in a meditation and you can play it. So I can either play it with just one mallet when I'm walking around or I can play it with two mallets. tell you a little bit about this model. This is the AMP model which stands for A minor pentatonic. Pentatonic is a five note scale and it makes it really easy for anyone to play it. You can pretty much play the notes in any order. It's very forgiving. There's no errors that are going to happen. You can pretty much play any sequence of notes. You can bounce around. You can go in order. You can go in zigzags. However you do it, it sounds great. The AMP is a custom scale that we've designed right for the Dig Project audience. And you can only get this scale at digproject.com slash store. When you get this instrument, it comes with these two mallets and they're really nice mallets, nice soft heads, nice tips, very easy to hold, very lightweight, and even kids can play with them. It's made of aluminum tines, so aluminum keys. These, this metal, each one custom cut to be tuned to a specific frequency. And then the resonators, these black parts are made of plastic. So actually it's a fairly lightweight instrument. And you can see that the resonators are hollow. Thanks again for coming by and checking out the mallet harp. Again, this is the A minor pentatonic, the AMP, only available through Dig Project. You can get yours at digproject.com slash store or come pick one up from us in person in New York City. Thanks again for stopping by. Be sure to hit subscribe, stay tuned for more videos, and we will see you in the next one. Peace.